had enough! Enough of pretending that this is normal. Enough of pretending that you are my true best friend. I'm sick of feeling like this. Helen, what are you talking about? We were just at dinner yesterday and everything was fine, right? Paris, think with a little logic here. Why have we had a perfect relationship for going on 16 years? A relationship where the longest we have not spoken was a day. And that was because we had to take standardized tests for an entire day. Um, I don't know what answer you were looking for. But I would say it's because we love each other. I can't remember a time when we weren't friends. My point exactly. Why can I not remember a life without you when we met at the age of 10? Don't you think that's a lot of life to just forget? I think that's a lot of life you are reading too much into. No, no, no. I overreact when Chick-fil-A is out of my favorite sauce. I may even overreact when I miss an episode of Euphoria the night that it comes out. This is real, Paris. Helen, I do not believe that there is anything weird about the friendship we built. It's not like everything was just peaches and cream. We've been through a lot together. Unlike everyone else, we just understand each other enough to make up and bury the hatchet. Bury the hatchet? You have to be crazy. When has there ever been a hatchet to bury? To my recollection, we have never had an argument that even put a crack of distance between us. Once again, I fail to see how this could possibly be portrayed as a bad thing. You are literally angry because we have a good friendship. Do you want our relationship to be more fragile? What more do you want me to do? You are so stupid! The point is not that I necessarily want our friendship to end, I just want to understand the lack of effort we put into it, and how we get the results we get. Relationships require maintenance. Paris, it's always been that way, so why is it any different with us? Helen, please calm down. I understand that we are both accustomed to being abandoned, but you have to stop projecting those insecurities at me. We are best friends, and I feel like that should just be the end of it. You are not understanding. That is nowhere near what this is about. It's honestly the opposite. How so? Because my mother, who is present, is the person that made me put everything in our relationship into perspective. You mean your mother is the person who told you to act like a maniac? No, I mean her obsession with overseeing how we conduct ourselves as friends. And it seems like she is more in the know than us about how each other feels. That is what made me act like a maniac. So your mother is a part of a narrative you made up to justify your paranoia? Right. Why can you never take anything seriously? I am telling you that it seems like we do not even have a choice on whether we are friends and you are literally shrugging me off. Helen, when was the last time you went to therapy? How do you even know about that? Have you been talking to my mother? She actually told me that you would approach me sooner or later. She figured that you were feeling anxious and told me how you wouldn't go to the mental rehabilitation center she suggested. Well, if she told you all that, did she tell you they were trying to sedate me? They wanted to turn me into a zombie and tell me what was reality and what wasn't. I can't even recall what they were trying to program me to think at this point. Helen, you have to take medication to help with your anxiety. How else do you think you are going to get better? Get better? I'm sorry, I wasn't aware that something was wrong with me in the first place. By the way, why not teach me how to create a setting that would relax my mind? Sounds a hell of a lot easier than the chemistry it takes to create these approved tranquilizers. So you think your mother just puts you into this program for the hell of it? She cares about you. She loves you. That's easy for you to see because you are looking from the outside in. How can you believe my mother more than you believe your best friend? If you care about my mental health, why would you listen to someone else? Sounds backwards to me. It's not like that, Helen. I feel like your mother can more accurately assess your mental state than you. Oh, I forgot. I'm not able to communicate anything about myself. But anytime we need to talk about what you are going through, I can talk fine. For you to be a sister to me, I feel like you could really care less about how I feel. I do care. Your mother cares. You have to understand the situation. Stop acting like you are so much smarter than me. You do know anxiety doesn't hinder your ability to comprehend, right? Try a little empathy if you feel the way you say you do. Try a little understanding because you sound very freaking ignorant right now. Ignorant? You tell me to be empathetic, but you are constantly barraging me with these insults to my character. But the insults to my intelligence are acceptable, right? It's okay for you to tell me that I cannot think for myself. I apparently can't even figure out how I feel. You're being very unreasonable right now. I do not have to put up with this, you know. Yeah, I can tell by the way that you think. You know what? Forget this. Bye, Helen. 
Hopefully it's for good this time. I'm glad you warned me about the state of Helen, Lita. Thank you for that. Oh my, is she at it again? What did she say to you? I'm so sorry. It started off as she was confused at why our friendship lacked flaws. It's almost as if she wanted there to be an issue. I was so confused. Then she went on to a rant about how I never listen to her or care about the feelings she's trying to express to me. It sounds like she needs another diagnosis. She may have developed depression since the last time we took her. Well then, I'm glad you believed me. And I will assume you handled her accordingly. I didn't know what to say. I could barely muster the courage to respond to her without giving her the attention she was asking for. It is hard. But if you care about her, you will continue to do her this favor. Imagine how hard it is for me as her mother to basically deny her what she wants. I can only imagine. You are a very strong woman to be able to develop that sort of patience and empathy. She did bring you and the institution up as well. I can't lie, some of her points began to make sense. Points such as... Well, first off, she started to question all of the involvement you have had in our friendship for all 16 years. Yes, and what about it? As children, I can understand you needing to be adult supervision, and I appreciate that. However, even as adults, even at this very moment, and I am 26 years old, I come to you like you are the mother of our friendship. I guess it's just weird when she puts it into that frame because there is truth to what she's saying. I just wanted to hear your side. Why do you need to be so involved? Simply put, you guys are like daughters to me. Why wouldn't I care if my daughters took care of each other in this wicked world? That makes sense, but do you not feel like it's a little too much? Not at all. I feel like it's only natural for motherly instinct to come into effect. Um, if you say so. Well, in the future, do you think it'll be possible for you to back off of us and let us be adults? What else did the two of you talk about? Are you not even going to acknowledge what I just asked you? I would appreciate it if you took me at least a little seriously. Paris, let's be serious. What else did you guys talk about? What wasn't serious about what I said? Whatever, she began to tell me about the rehabilitation center that you mentioned last time we spoke. Oh, Okay, well, I already explained that to you, so that shouldn't be anything new. Why do you want to talk about that? She told me that they forcefully administer those drugs you were telling me about. I mean, the medicine you told me about. She's exaggerating. They only use force when Helen acts as if she cannot control herself. Why don't they try to figure out what's wrong with her? Can't they teach her some type of healthy way to calm herself? Wouldn't forcing her to take an injection give her the probable cause to feel anxious even more? It's no way there isn't a better way to go about helping Helen get better. You're suggesting they reason with her? It's not that simple, Paris. And why is that? I'm starting to see Helen's point of view at this point. It's almost like you want me to believe that she's incapable of understanding her own emotions. What's all that about? That is not what I am saying. I'm just letting you know that as a person suffering from anxiety and most likely recently developed depression, she probably is not in the best space to make proclamations about her own sanity. Wow, you really were in my head. I literally was saying the same thing that you are right now. Good. At least I know that you care about the well-being of your relationship and, most importantly, my daughter. I'm starting to question if either of us cares about her well-being anymore. Trust me, I care about her well-being. And if you continue to treat her like that, I'm sure you do too. Just trust the process and believe that we are doing the right thing. If you and I stay united as the primary forces in her life, she will be forced to see that her thinking and approach to this area of her life is just wrong. Let's get back to the point. What else happens after she is given the treatment? She's told me that she cannot even remember the moments that followed the doctors administering the medicine into her system. You really should not worry about that, Paris. I'm starting to wonder why it feels like I'm the only one worrying about that. Do you know something that I don't? There has to be a reason that you are acting like everything I am saying is normal. I'm her mother, Paris. Of course I know something you don't. Maybe you need to take some time to go to therapy as well. That's a fair point, but why act as if it's okay? Because it has to be. You should not ask questions you don't want the answer to. What does that mean? You aren't the brightest, but I know you have comprehension skills. 
Stop interrogating me about these situations. You do not need to, nor do you want to know the answers to these mysteries in your head. I actually believe I want to know the answers, and I need you to stop trying to tell me how to think. You are not acting the same as you did two weeks ago. Why are you acting so menacing? You two are really starting to annoy me because you're very inquisitive. Even if I told you, you would not remember a single thing that I say to you. It truly does not matter. And what in the hell does that mean? Don't worry, I'm about to create a group chat and explain everything. I'm not about to stress myself with two little girls who just want to know everything. You two want to know the truth, huh? You don't want to just listen, you want to learn something that you will not be able to recall after about a month. Paris, what did you do? All I did was confront her about the issues we were having with her being controlling over us. We? Oh, let me guess. She made you feel like you were incapable of thinking for yourself. Now it's we! You were a joke. I get that I was wrong, but I'm on your side now. As long as I learned from my mistake, should there be an issue with what I was saying? Whatever, that doesn't matter now. What matters is that my psycho of a mother just said we are too stupid to remember what we are told a month after it is said. I never said that you were too stupid to remember. I said you are not able to remember. This is true regardless of your emotions or how smart you are. This is exactly what she was saying before she started the strand. Lita, what does that mean? Paris, it means what I was saying holds some sort of truth to it. It means that we are not in control of our own relationship. Mother, Lita, what are you talking about? Stop all of this cryptic crap and tell us exactly what is going on. Don't you ever call me Lita again. I am your mother and do not make me have to remind you. Now, on to your question. What's going on is fate. Every day that you wake up and you breathe, you are embarking on a journey that was planned out before you were even thought of being conceived. This is just one of those instances. You see, Paris, this is why I am told that I can't think for myself. I am not the one that belongs in that asylum that she sends me to. She literally thinks we cannot control what is going on in our day-to-day -day lives. Helen, come on, there is no way she means all this literally. I think she just means that she would hate to see friends like us lose each other when we are meant to be by each other's sides forever. Paris, I love you, but you can be very dense sometimes, do you know that? At least I know you're my daughter. You may be in need of help, but you are not as slow to the punch as your friend there. I'm going to forget you said what you just said about my mental health. Don't you dare talk about her that way, Lita. Oh, but weren't you the one telling her that you don't want to be friends because it wasn't your choice? Now you feel some sort of loyalty to her because I said something negative? Why do you think that is? She's my best friend. I will not let you speak to her in any type of manner. Yes, but that is not because you have a choice, Helen. It's because when you were a child, your father wanted to leave us so badly that I had to find another person for you to channel your love into. Then I met Paris's father. We were great friends and he decided that he had not met a single child that he felt would treat his daughter with the loyalty he felt she would deserve. Thus, your friendship was born. Wait, wait, wait. My father, he left before I can even remember. Yes, he did. But he met me and we became so close, almost in love. And we both needed the same things. Friends for our daughters. And we needed them to be accessible quickly. He told me where to find you. We moved here and I agreed to get you guys to be friends and ensure that it stayed that way. My mother was never around. Why didn't he just come to be a father? Why leave you to be my mother when he had just met you? He was a busy man to say the least. Military men can't be family men too. It doesn't work like that. I know that you want to know more about your father, Paris. But I was just told that your dad and my mother used me like a pawn. How can you control my way of thinking and keep me in this friendship? Why don't I remember this at all? Paris and I were talking, Helen. Save your questions until the end. I care about my dad, but this is way more important. I'm 26. I will be fine. Why can't Helen decide to be my friend on her own? And why don't I remember any of this? Look at you two, sticking up for each other, trying to make sense out of... What you would consider senseless. Lita, 
Make it make sense. I am sick of this evil villain act you have going on. Agreed. Well then, if you must know, I had to make it impossible for Helen to want to leave you. The only people that would help me with this was the mental insanity program that Helen is in right now. She doesn't remember any of the procedures because the medicine administered to her is meant to render her memory useless. Mom? Mom, are you serious? Should I even call you my mom? What type of mother would do that to their kid? Helen, I'm so sorry for not believing you. This is sick. At least let me finish if you are going to waste my time. Paris, you do not remember because you have a case of memory loss similar to amnesia. You have been forgetting things after about a month of them happening for years. Which works perfectly because it is enough time for Helen to get her medicine and everything goes back to normal. It's almost like the kids shows you guys used to watch. What? Why don't you get me help or my sorry excuse for a father? Because it would ruin the little flow we have here of keeping you two reliant on each other. You are my last resort to get your father back in my life, and I will use it until I no longer can anymore. You are an evil villain! You're the only one who called it an act. I am just a woman doing what's best for her and her children. I am never going back to that hospital, Lita. I hope you can understand that. This is the final time this is happening. And this is the third or fourth time that you have said that. Just get used to it. You two are bound by fate to be best friends. It's just, in your case, fate happens to be me. I can't take this anymore. I can't! Paris, I love you and I appreciate everything you've ever done for me, but I have to go! I cannot stay in a cycle my whole life. Lita, stay far, far away from me. I hope to never see you again. I'm glad the drama queen is gone. Now, are you okay, Paris? You are not my friend. Please stop pretending to be. I am on the same page as Helen. I want her to be free. And I hope that I never hear from you again. Not you too, Paris. You have to understand that resistance is futile with a memory like yours. Well, this time I won't forget. Goodbye, Lita. Helen and I have not spoken for a long time. It's only been about two months, or at least I think that's how long it's been. I've been fighting to keep my memories accessible by writing notes and placing them on my walls. The biggest note I have is to never let Lita know where I am. In all honesty, I barely remember who Lita is. I guess it's time to write a note for that too. I hope Helen is okay. She meant the world to me, but I did not want her to be a slave to my friendship needs. She deserves much better than that. I don't know how to reach her, but one day I'm sure she will come back. Sadly, she always does.